So here's where she gets into how she knows that Mark couldn't have been aware of any of the fraud. Mark couldn't have been any further from the ruthless Gordon Gecko stereotype of the successful young broker. When he walked through our apartment door around six each evening, he was done. He wasn't glued to his cell phone like his father or answering client emails at dinner. Oddly enough, given his family name and the golden reputation it had then, Mark was never a person our friends would go to for stock tips. I think he might not have been good at his job. It's so funny to be like, of course he didn't know what was going on with his dad's office. He was never even there. Of course he wasn't doing crime. He wasn't doing anything. 